Hello wrestling fans, The Wrestling Wizard here and welcome to another video. So, Wyndham Rotunda, aka Bray Wyatt, has spoken out. And it's hard to gauge from his message whether he's seriously pissed off or he's just playing mind games with us. Because, as we know, Bray Wyatt is a genius in terms of being cryptic, coming out with all these messages. And as we know, he's a creative genius. And his recent response on his social media was... Don't worry, I'll feed you baby birds. Now, I don't think this is a coincidence that this isn't far from a recent report that's come to light suggesting that Bray Wyatt was difficult to work with, he had weight issues and performance issues in the ring. So I think this is a response to that. And understandably, if this information has been leaked from someone within WWE, you know, and basically they're bad mouthing Wyatt in, in this way, then that's going to be his response and you can't blame him for coming out with that. Um, I loved it. And obviously what was interesting as well was it was a picture of The Fiend within that. And people went crazy because they thought, you know, if he's posting an image of The Fiend, he's using that persona, then does that mean he's coming back to the WWE? I wouldn't read too much into that. However, again, you can't completely write that off either. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about the cult of Wyndham. What is the cult of Wyndham? What it could be? Um, I want to get your thoughts and opinions as well, what you think it could possibly be. But at the moment, we have no idea. But let's look at what we do know. Now, if we look at way back just before WrestleMania 36, Bray Wyatt did actually tease the cult of Wyndham way back then. And allegedly, according to reports, this was supposed to be some form of podcast. And you know what WWE are like with superstars doing things sort of outside of their character and outside of the business. Uh, we only need to look at Twitch, you know, the whole page situation with that and Selena Vega, that they're not warming to superstars doing things outside of their job role. And apparently this was the case in that situation. He pitched the idea of this Cult of Wyndham uh, podcast allegedly and WWE sort of rid it off. Um, also remember Wyndham in Cult of Wyndham is actually Bray Wyatt's real name, Wyndham Rotunda. So maybe they didn't want to mix up between the real life version of Wyndham and of course the Bray Wyatt version we saw in WWE. But this isn't new. And also note as well that it's spelled with a K instead of a C. So again, Bray Wyatt being all cryptic. Absolutely love it. But... That brings us to today and the present time and, and what we obviously know as well. Now we know that Wyatt, I'm going to call him Wyatt, I always call him Wyatt in these videos. He's been very, very present on social media. I mean, he's been posting pictures and when we saw that you can't kill it image, this like almost demon version of the fiend, like a Japanese style type of mask. We mentioned that in previous videos. He posted a cryptic image of the Wyatt family opposite Daniel Bryan and the Usos. Uh, that was on the night of Extreme Rules as well. Uh, there was no caption alongside that. However, he posted that up. And of course, recently, the basically don't worry, I'll feed you baby birds. <laughs> um, not to mention other responses. He's responded to fans saying basically, don't worry, all will be revealed soon. I'll see you soon. He's also responded to Seth Rollins, which is really interesting in the past. Seth Rollins was on, of course, the Stone Cold Broken Skull Sessions show and voiced his basically distaste for the way that that booking went about when it came to that Hell in a Cell dreadful match, um, of course, against The Fiend, saying that he wanted to strangle Vince, and he publicly stated that, and of course, Wyatt's response was, wait until you hear my story. Now, you can read what you like into that, but it sounds like he's trying to get his real life version of, of course, himself is in actually Wyndham Rotunda and his real point across. And he's mentioned also that you've never seen the real him. Um, so it's obviously clear that Wyndham Rotunda seemingly is going to he's going to go by his real name and he's going to talk real. And, and that sounds to me and that gears towards it being a podcast and this actually happening. So the original idea he had will actually come to light. Now, of course, he's got all the freedom now 
um, well, he has got the freedom very soon when his non-compete contract runs out with WWE. So he can explore other options. Of course, he can start his own podcast, do what the heck he wants with it, and talk about from a real perspective, an honest perspective, like how he felt personally. And there's a lot to talk about, that's for sure. I mean, we won't go into the obvious, the whole Goldberg matchup, the Hell in the Cell, the bookings in WrestleMania 33 and WrestleMania 37. Of course, losing to John Cena on the grandest stage of them all, uh, when arguably that was probably the time to pull the trigger on Bray Wyatt because he was so over in that hill persona. Just the way that he managed to pull the masks on all those kids and like generally like that was freaky at the time and it worked really, really well. So if I was to guess at the moment, I would say it's, it's warming towards that. However, we've got to look at other possibilities. Also, it's impossible to ignore his connections with Braun Strowman, a former WWE superstar, of course, Eric Redbeard, and of course, obviously his brother. Now, many people have speculated Cult of Wyndham could actually be a faction. Now, if it's going to be a faction, it's highly, highly unlikely that's going to happen back in WWE. So the likelihood is that will happen either in AEW or Impact or elsewhere. But it is a possibility because he has those ties, he has those connections. I mean, Braun Strowman is very welcoming. I mean, literally, as soon as he was fired, it's like, open arms, we welcome you, brother. And it's no secret that he called Wyatt out to join Free the Narrative, which is EC3's take on, on basically like releasing any angst that they had in the past with wrestling and the booking of their character and freeing their narrative, creating their own narrative. And it's really good. If you haven't watched Free the Narrative, go check it out. It's really clever. And uh, they've called him out to, to appear on there. Obviously, we haven't seen him since. However, the possibility of those working together in some form could work. Now, there's pros and cons to it. Obviously, we're going to see him showcase his creative genius. We'll see a faction. But many people, especially lifelong fans in WWE, or huge fans of Bray Wyatt in the past, feel like it's a bit of a cop-out to the Wyatt family. And the Wyatt family was unique, it was iconic, and something very, very different. I think Bray, War Bray Wyatt, it's safe to say, brought something completely unique to the wrestling world in WWE. And I was lucky enough to see the Wyatt family in person in Manchester, England, and even better, I got to see The Undertaker appear. Uh, Undertaker and Kane, and there's that whole rivalry. And uh, it was literally, if you've not seen The Undertaker's entrance in real life, it is spine tinglingly like, awesome. I had goosebumps everywhere, and I didn't expect him to turn up, which was even better. But the whole aura of the Wyatt family, just the way he carries himself on the mic, it was incredible. If you haven't seen him, see him wherever he goes, whenever he returns, and if and when he returns. Uh, very soon hopefully so there's that option now there's obviously the fantasy booking option as well and you can let your mind run wild when it comes to theories with this but i love the idea of him if he were to come back to wwe have like a demon faction that would be really cool like the demon king uh and of course finn balor you could have like jeff hardy turn to willow and then you could just haunt wwe and like a cult of wyndham faction there I mean, it's obviously fantasy because Jeff Hardy's on SmackDown and Finn Balor's on Raw. And the likelihood is um, Jeff Hardy probably will turn into Willow. Um, likelihood is he'd go and feud with Roman Reigns if that was the case. And I'm sure Raw have got big plans for Finn Balor, whatever they may, that may be on, on Raw. Of course, that's quite simply my imagination running wild. You can let your imagination run wild, come out with some theories, get in the comments section. What do you think the Cult of Wyndham is or is going to be? And also, do you think there's a possibility he could come back to WWE? Because as we know, at the moment, as it stands, he hasn't actually finished running down his non-compete contract. So where people say, oh, he's not shown up in AEW, he's not shown up in Impact. Well, in theory, he can't if his non-compete contract hasn't come to an end or he's not going to get the royalties um, as a result. Now... You can't rule off him returning to WWE. I think it's highly unlikely, but you can't because you think about it, if he's on a high lucrative deal, or that's what he signed previously, he'd be mad not to run that down and get more money until the point of when that non-compete stops. 
So if he were to negotiate a new contract and it was on less money, then it would start from only after the point where his old one had finished. That makes sense from his financial standpoint. I don't think WWE released him due to budget cuts. I think that was a swerve. I think it's probably no secret to us that that is the case. Um, we don't know. It could have actually ended. He could have negotiated with Vince an earlier release. Uh, we really don't know, but we cannot rule off a possibility of him going to any of these companies and returning to WWE. Now, if he did return to WWE, obviously it'd be great for the Fiend gimmick because he can evolve that gimmick and hopefully undo a lot of the wrongs of the past. But I hope if he ever goes back to WWE, they need to book him 110% better because we do not want to see the trash that we saw before, the 9,000 curb stomps and no sales in hell in, in the cell. We do not want to see that and we do not want to see him losing to a 54 year old man when he has the main event title. But a few theories out there. What do you think? Uh, get down in the comments section, share your thoughts and opinions. What do you think this cult of Wyndham is? Is it even going to amount to anything? Because he teased us in his bio before, removed it and we never saw it previously. So what could it be? Thank you so much for watching the video. Be really appreciative if you could like the video, it really helps the channel. Share the video, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in another video.